It is that time again everyone, time for the latest iOS 12 beta, and this time we've got a two for for you, iOS 12 beta 7 and beta 8. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here for Apple Insider. iOS 12 beta 7 was just released and then it was pulled. Only two days later, we actually saw the reissue of iOS 12 beta 8, which hopefully will fix a lot of those problems that caused the seventh beta to be retracted and no longer available to install. So let's go ahead and install and check out what's new in both seven and in eight. The first thing that we wanted to try out was just launching apps because that was one of the things that was really slowed down and didn't work inside of beta seven. And luckily performance on beta eight is really, really quick, both in launching apps and everything else. We have another splash screen or welcome screen showing up, this time for messages, walking you through some of the new features of messages, including uh, an emoji and the new Memoji, the new photo button instead of using the camera button, and even a little shout out to iMessage in the cloud. Jumping over into the music app, if you have a lot of music videos saved to your library, you may have noticed they really didn't have any album art. They were simply blank squares. Now there is some new 16 by nine wallpaper anytime you have a music video in your library. Before we get to all of the other features in this beta, let's go ahead and talk about our sponsor. Direct Mail is the number one top rated email marketing app for Mac, where you can quickly and easily create and send great looking email newsletters with in-depth reports where you can see who's reading, clicking, and sharing them. Growing your mailing list is easy with custom subscribe forms for your website that automatically sync with direct mail. It integrates with over a thousand other apps and services and can even send email campaigns automatically. It's free to download and get started and Apple Insider viewers can get an exclusive offer by visiting directmailmac.com AI. Moving on to other new features in this beta, we saw a change to the brand new measure app icon. That ruler line there in the middle, it was going vertically and now it is switched and is going horizontally. Really minor tweak there to that new icon. Inside of FaceTime, and this is a big one, we are going to lose group FaceTime for the initial rollout of iOS 12 and macOS Mojave. This is going to be coming later this year, Apple promised, hopefully in iOS 12.1, 12.2, if either of those can make it out in time. As you can see, I've got both the Deem and Max here in my bar, and I'm not able to start a video or audio conversation with them. I simply can't do it. They're kind of delaying this the same way they delayed AirPlay 2, though hopefully the delay for FaceTime group or group FaceTime is not going to be nearly as long as it was for AirPlay 2 that took almost a year to actually make it to people. And lastly, on this update over on the iPad in this horribly exposed image because we can't actually do anything right from that lock screen, but it does walk you through one of the new features, which is switching between recent apps. So kind of just some of the new gestures that we're seeing on the iPad, really inspired by the iPhone 10. Swiping up just a little bit and then stopping from the bottom will open up the app switcher and you can even jump between apps. Really, really nice, but it ditches that four finger gesture, which is still there if you prefer to use it. If you found any other changes in iOS 12 beta seven or beta eight, make sure to let us and everyone else know down below in the comments and check our other videos and posts on Apple Insider to see what has changed in the other betas this time around. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.